have breaking news, breaking news to all of you out there who want to say that the Egyptian people are white. In America, the white people, yes, the white people descendants of Europeans claim that Egyptians are white people. Egyptians are not white. They are black. Now, there are also Egyptians out there, many uh, Egyptians that are Christians and Coptics especially, run around and say that Egyptians are white. To you also, I want to say that Egyptians are black. Egyptians are not white. Now, you can look at me and say, well, you're not black. Right, I'm not black, but I'm not white. I have been mixed. I am a descendant of mixed Egyptians, mixed with European colonizers. But in the sun, I do not burn. I do not get red. I turn darker and darker and darker. And also this video, it tends to make, you know, light skinned people look even lighter because of the lighting. But regardless, if you are Egyptian, Christian, especially Coptic, and you are white, because there are very white Egyptians, guys. There are Egyptians who have green eyes and like really light brown hair. And I always wonder, well, why do they look different from me? If you are white, and you are in Egypt, and you're Christian and Coptic especially, I'm here to tell you that Egyptians are not white. You are white because you are a descendant of a white European colonizer. Or you are just simply European that has moved into Egypt and stayed there and had kids there and kept being white. So, with that said, I, again, I want to break the news to everyone that Egyptians are not white. We are black people. Go to Nuba, Nubia, and you will see that the people there are very dark. Well, if you go to the city of Kamombo in Egypt, forget Nubia because, you know, that's a bit of a different nation, but in, uh, in Kamombo, a pure Egyptian city, people are dark in it very melanated. In fact, my siblings are much darker than me. So again, with that said, please do not walk around and say Egyptians are white. Now, I gave you three pieces of evidence, but there's a ton of evidence out there. Like if you go to the Egyptian Museum in Cairo, you will see in the chamber of uh, King Tut An Amun, which y'all call Tut and Kamen, is a black. They're all black. Is a black. They're all black. Black people. So stop lying. Sorry, right. Right. Like the Egyptians looking blonde and fair skin and like, come on. <laughs> Egyptians we are either tan skin or dark, dark Nubians. Okay. We don't say African Americans in Egypt, by the way. Right. We say Africans or we say Nubians. Okay. So to us, you are a Nubian. So that's why people keep calling me Nubian queen. Exactly. Okay. So okay. you are Nubian to us. You are Nubia. Nubian. So to the Nubians, we are Egyptians because we are the new Egyptians. The new Egyptians. The, okay. the Nubians are the native Egyptians. The ancient, they were right? the ones who built ancient Egypt. Mm, wow. Who built the pyramids, who built ancient Egypt civilization, who invented Egypt, as we say, were the Nubian. Shemai's ethnicity. Well... They have just told me that uh, Shemai has a Nubian feature. Which means that um, their ruling family was probably Nubian and th that was unexpected. Examining Shemai's anatomy closely, the thickness of his bone and the shape of his nasal cavity, the anthropologists think he was a black African likely from neighboring Nubia. A huge revelation that challenges the prevailing image of the Egyptian ruling class. We always thought the ancient Egyptian elites 
were Mediterranean type. At the end, it doesn't matter the color of your skin. Shemai was Egyptian. It is a black. They're all black. Black people. So stop lying. <laughs>